سورة وش سورة الروم سورة الروم يلو الروم الروم أنا بنو الأصفر رومانس الروم سبحان الله and the room brothers today they are where where are they living today offsprings of them in Europe and do you think the American the Caucasian American the white American that are not true no but the question is about how about the Russian room or not room room and by the way yani since i started the study the islamic studies and i since i was young i love to read the hadith of the sign of the the last hour the day of judgment and in the perspective of all almost all of us almost that a room are only the european and the hadith talking about the last battle which is here in america they believe in it and they not they believe in it they are preparing themselves for it harmajdun harmajad what you call it in english harmajad and malham al kubra in our any Islamic perspective or a hadith until I listen last year or two years ago not long time ago two or three years ago to one uh, I don't know Pakistani Indian uh, sheikh his name his name is uh, Amran Hussein or Hussein Amran Hussein Amran and Sheikh Abzahir told me about him I, I, I never heard about uh, this person at all from before more than two years ago I did not hear about it. what his explanation of this hadith the the last battle between Muslims and a room he said they are the Russian not the European and he bring his uh, proofs and his understanding and his conclusion and between parentheses now, between parentheses. After maybe a few weeks, a few weeks, maybe three, more or less, the FBI asked me to, to meet with me. They work, I'm as you, they work, I'm super knows this. <clears throat> they asked me, do you know Amran Hussein or Hussein Amran Hussein Amran? What's his name? Hussein Amran. Hussein Amran. Are you sure not Amran Hussein? Well, Amran Hussein, I think. Yeah, I think Amran Hussein. I asked him, what about him? Why are you asking about Amran Hussein? He's a sheikh. He's a any, any scholar. Why are you asking me? I thought you want to ask me about any terrorists and uh, any young people, you see? So, no, just uh, because he's, uh, he's, he said he's issued many. Any, uh, extremist uh, YouTube or stuff like that and I never heard about him but two three weeks ago but indeed I did not know him at all I never heard about him sometimes you heard about names maybe did not watch we did not follow them but I never heard about this name I'm wrong I I never before that school. and he said that uh, Imran Hussein is talking about the war between Jews and Muslims. And he's, he's, he's reading the uh, hadith. He's not. Uh, you know, so the point is, could be the Russian, maybe. Until I heard him, it never came to my mind that the Roman could be the Russian. It didn't come to my mind, and the mind of especially our generations and the generation before us, our shuk, they did not talk about Russian, but European. The point is, a room, 
أو بنو الأصفر القرآن الكريم mention or name them <coughs> or room and to understand the situation of these verses and to understand the meaning of the verses at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Mecca listen in Mecca not in Medina yet when he was in Mecca a big battle do you know when there are two big empires superpowers it is obvious to have a war against each other every few years at the time of Rasulullah when he was in Mecca still in Mecca let us do this يعني, comparison Al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called people upon a divine religion, Deen Samawi. And the people of Mecca, they were worshipping what? Idols. Mushrik, mushrikun. Commit shirk. Worshipping idols. 360 idols around the Kaaba. The Roman, or the Rome Empire, they were Ahlul Kitab, people of the book. <clears throat> they were Christians. They were true Christian, or they, they were, that means they were, and he, the, they followed the teaching of Isa alayhi salam? No. But they were Christians, people of the book. And the Persian, Al Furs, they were what? Worship, they worship fire, Majus. So Al Majus, close to Al Mushrikeen. And the Christian, the people of the book, close to the Muslims. If you make this comparison. <coughs> and at that moment, one of the king or empire, Persian, his name, Sabur, Malikul Force, established a war against Heracl at that time. Heracl, Azim al Rum, the king of the Rum, and Subhanallah, and he won this war. He took the whole Asham, and some narrations said Egypt too. Some narrations. Whole Asham, Bilad Asham. And most of Turkey today until he reached Constantina, which is Istanbul today. And it was the capital of the Roman Empire. You can imagine? He reached where? Constantine called in English? The, the capital of the Rome. And at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a whole chapter, al room. So al room it is Makki or Madani? Makki. Makki. Yeah. Surah al Makki. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this verses, this chapters, this surah, Alif Lam Mim. Also, we don't need to repeat uh, the speech about Alif Lam Mim because we mentioned it from before. These letters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone knows the real and the true meaning of these letters. But these are letters. Lianna Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا أقول ألف لام ميم حرف بل ألف حرف لام الحرف These are حروف letters أسماء الحروف أسماء الحروف ألف لام ميم غلبت الروم في أدنى الأرض وهم من بعد غلبهم سيرهم The Romans are defeated defeated in the nearer land and they after their defeat will be victorious Adnal Ard Allahu Alam as that this translation is not authentic Allahu Alam Adna that means the lowest uh, uh, land 
under the surface of the, sea, the ocean or the sea. هي أخفض منطقة في الأرض عند البحر الميت تمام. And that was the 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 the, the major uh, يعني battle happened between these two empires. في أدنى الأرض. Then Allah سبحانه وتعالى said after this defeat they will be victorious. Another war will happen between the Rome and the Persian. And the Rome will they uh, will win the war. Here, Ibn Kathir mentioned few narrations uh, in Musnad Imam Ahmad by the authority of Abdullah bin Abbas. Welcome back, Brother Abbas. Abdullah bin Abbas, radiallahu anhuma. <coughs> he said, Al Mushrikun. They loved, they liked that the Persian uh, won uh, the war. <clears throat> and the Muslims, this is the, 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 the explanation of Abdullah ibn Abbas, this narration of Abdullah ibn Abbas. And the Muslim, he said, loved or liked that the Rome to win the people of the book to win the war. فأبو بكر رضي الله تعالى عنه ذكر ذلك لرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أما إنهم سيغلبون. So Abu Bakr رضي الله تعالى عنه you know Abu Bakr he was what a trader we say تاجر businessman and the area of Hashem it is his uh, his business and all this in you. Now the the Sham رحلة الشتاء والصيف الشام كانت رحلة الشتاء أم رحلة الصيف رحلة الصيف الشتاء كان ينزل من اليمن الشام بارد تلج وشنو so and Abu Bakr told the Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم about the news and the Rasul الله صلى الله عليه وسلم told him أما إنهم سيغلبون لا الروم سيغلبون مرة ثانية. Indeed, or verily, the Romans they will win the war against المجوس, the Persian. Then Abu Bakr رضي الله تعالى عنه took this new because nobody knows yet. It is وحي. You got it? الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم told him وحي. Something from the غيب. They are going to win the war. Then Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he went to Kuffar al-Quraysh, Sanadid al-Quraysh, the leaders of Quraysh, he said, you are happy now because the Persian won the war, but the Romans will win the war again. يعني ما تنبسطوا يعني كثيرا. Okay. فقالوا اجعل بيننا وبينك أجلا فإن ظهروا أو فإن ظهرنا كان لنا كذا وكذا وإن ظهرتم كان لكم كذا وكذا. فجعل أجل المسمى خمسة سنين أبو بكر. I don't know they call it uh, bet. Huh? In... Bidden. They said let us uh, do any bidden about it. If you win we'll give you such and such of money or stuff like that. If you win you will give us the same. But you said in a few years, tell us, decided how many years. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala, he did his ishtihad, he said five years. He said five years. Because fi bid'i sini. After five years, nothing happened. Listen, after five years, nothing happened. That's why a Muslim all the time have to be careful about Al Ghaib. Anything related to Al Ghaib, you have to be careful. Nothing happened after. <laughs> Nothing happened after five years. The room, any Jazeera from Jazeera to the Sham, Jazeera Arabic, not going to be able to do it. Not going to be able to do it. Yemen, just Yemen. 
ومنطقه اليوم الاحساب هي الشرقيه بس مين بده يفوت بالصحراء ما كان حدا بده اياها حد ما طلع البترول بس طلع البترول سالوا عنها صاروا بيحبوا الرمل والحر Then Abu Bakr رضي الله تعالى عنه went to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and he told him. فقال عليه الصلاة والسلام ألا جعلتها إلى دون العشرة ليش عملتها خمسة؟ So النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم told him يعني الآية said بضع سنين few years and the few البضع in 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 the لغة in the in the Arabic language between three to nine or to ten. To nine, and three included, and nine included. So Al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said, "Why you you make it only five? Why did not make it ten? Tell ten. That means to nine." فذكر سعيد بن جبير أن البضعة is less than ten. Al Bidah doesn't reach ten. That means tell the nine. After nine years. Another war, any يعني Herakl, Caesar, Magnusamo, prepared for a big war, and he established, started a war against the the Persian, and he won the war. Not that only, he went till the capital, and he occupied the capital of the Persian. What was the capital of Persia? And يعني Constantinia, Constantine, Constantina, was the capital of. The Roman and uh, Sabur did not, and he, he was at the border. He did not get any into, into it. But Herakl, he took over even the capital of the Persian. What was the capital of the Persian? Huh? Babel. Babel. Who said Baghdad? Baghdad. Had Baghdad. He moved to Baghdad. And where is the Baghdad today? Is in Al Iraq today. شفتوا ليش الفرس اليوم بشط على العراق الكابيتال تاعتهم كانت هناك <تصفيق> الامام الترمذي نريتد ان هيز سنن ذات قريش كيم تو ابو بكر After he extend, after he extend to them the the due date, and they won the Roman won the war, and they went to Abu Bakr radiallahu and they gave him the the bet, or the bidding, whatever they bet for. Abu Bakr radiallahu taala anhu brought this to Al Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. وقال له هذا السحت يا رسول الله ما هو السحت المال الحرام ها this is the haram money that we got from the المشركين but we won the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم told them تصدق به يعني don't take it distribute to the needy to the poor who deserve it يعني <تصفيق> كما في سنن الترمذي <تصفيق> Did Hazrat Abu Bakr didn't know that bidding is a haram? No, there is no. That's why the, they said that happened before Tahrim al Rihan. Then al Rihan and bidding, or gambling, maybe mm-hmm. Ahsan? Gambling Ahsan al Bid, right? Most gambling is some way. But ish, what, what this in English for Bakr, al Rihan? Bid? La Mabikul fi Sibak Khail, and the Bisbu Bid, it's more bid. الرهان يا جماعه ما حدا بيدنج بس بيدنج يعني يوز ذا يوز ات ان ذا اوكشن از اوكي ذا بيتن اه مش بيدنج اه بيتن اوكي شوف تفرقها يعني البيدنج از اوكي نو بروبلم بس يعني بس البيتن از از حرام اند يعني يعني از ابن كثير هير منشن وذلك قبل تحريم الرهان بفور الرهان يعني بكام حرام Also the, the scholars especially 
علماء السياق they said at the, at the moment at the same time when the Roman established the war against the, the, the Persian we have two narrations the first they said at the same time the battle of Badr was between uh, the Muslims and al mushrikeen and this is the meaning of Qawlullahi Ta'ala wa yawma idhin yafrahu al-mu'minuna bi'ish bi nasrillah so the meaning is the nasr, the victory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the to, to the to his prophet sallallahu in Badr and to the sahaba to the companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in in Badr and we can see he said and there is another opinion another opinion at the same moment, it was not Marakat, but it's after that, Sulh al Hudaybiyah. You know the Hudaybiyah covenant between an Nabi and Mushriki Mecca. Wallah Azzawajal named this covenant, Hudaybiyah uh, covenant, as what? Fatah. Who said Fatah? Inna Fatahna laka Fathan Mubina. And you talk in these verses, so Fatah, the whole Surah Fatah talking about, at the beginning of it, talking about the covenant of Al Hudaybiyah. And you can see, he said, the second opinion is more authentic. If you look at the time, at the number of years, most likely the war between the Roman and the, the Persian happened at the time of Surah Al Hudaybiyah, that means after uh, Badr Battle. Wallahu ta'ala. أجل وأهلا. خمسة تقريبا أو يا إذا عديت تسع سنين يا and he bring the proof of this. What is the proof? Herakl, the Christian, the religious Christian, listen to this, and this is all the time, I don't know if somebody is uh, recording. The, the Muslim leaders, the Muslim leader, all the, all, I mean, I don't know, I don't want to say through the history, at least recently, they don't care about the religion. They don't care about the Islam. But the Christian presidents, they consider themselves as mudafi'een an diyan al Each one of them, he consider himself as defender, defend, and as religious. Do you remember what Bush, the son, used to say? God talked to me, told me to invade uh, Afghanistan, and he promised me, God promised me to give me victory, and he did. Then after two or three years, he said, God told me, huh? to, to uh, invade uh, Iraq. And he promised me uh, to give me victory. He talked as a priest, unfortunately. <laughs> Herakl, uh, the Caesar or the Caesar, or the Caesar was the, uh, because he, he looked at himself the supporter and protector of the Christians and the Christianity. And he said, if God <coughs> give me victory against the Persian, I want to perform Hajj. Where is the Hajj of Christian? Till today. Al-Quds, the Jerusalem. Some narration said from Constantina to Jerusalem, walk in, not ride in any right any horse and some narration said from Hims you know Hims in Syria Hims in Syria to Baytul Maqdis or to Al-Quds walking walking and the narrations mentioned that when Herakl Caesar fulfilled his vow and reached Baytul Maqdis Jerusalem at that moment, Duhya al-Kalbi, the messenger of Rasulullah 
sent with him the book to Heracl, the book to the Caesar from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Do you know this? And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sent books to the kings at his time to Egypt, al muqawqas to al najashi uh, in uh, uh, Abyssinia, uh, to Roman, to Kisra, the, to the king of uh, uh, Persia, call them upon them to to accept Al Islam. So when Heracl reached Jerusalem, the book of Rasulullah reached him with Duhya Al Kalbi radiallahu ta'ala. And when Rasulullah sent his books, after the Battle of Badr or after Sulh al After Sulh al He sent his books to these kings after the after al Hudaybiyah uh, covenant. غُلِبَتُ الرُّومُ فِي أَدْنَى الْأَرْضِ وَهُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ غَلَبِهِمْ سَيَغْلِبُونَ فِي بِضْعِ سِنِينَ لِلَّهِ الْأَمْرُ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَمِنْ بَعْدِ and this, you know, Al Quran Kareem has statements. Even it's part of ayah. It's part. It's not all ayah, but it is a statement. Al Muslim should repeat it all the time. And first, believe it and repeat it all the time. Whenever you see something major happen to Ummah or to anybody else, you have to say, "Lillahi al-Amru min qablu wa min ba." Allah has the matter. It is His decree, His qadar and had the Qadr from before that happened and after it. Before and after. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, lahu al-amr. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa lillahi, aw lillahi al-amru min qablu wa min ba'du. Wa yawma idhin yafrahu al But here, what is the matter here? From before and after. From before, when the Persian won the war. And from after, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, as a part of the ghaib, the Roman, they will win the war. At that moment, the believers will be happy. Because of what? So the happiness of the believers, because the Christian at that time uh, won the war, and at the same time, the believers were happy because they, based on the first narration, they won the war in Badr against al mushrikeen or the believers, they became relaxed after the covenant of al hudaybiyah And that made them happy too. Aziz, Rahim, Qaleel, Ma Ta'ti, Hatan, Sifatan, Mara. These two attributes or names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not all the time uh, would come. There is an example, a similar example in Surah Al-Ma'idah. Who can remember this? Al-Aziz, no. And what is, what is uh, the, the occasion of this? Isa, alayhi salam, at the end of Surah Al-Ma'idah. إذ قال الله يا عيسى أنت قلت للناس اتخذوني وأمي إلهين من دون قال سبحانك ما يكون لي أن أقول ما ليس لي به من كل at the end of the ayat إن تعذبهم فإنهم عبادك إن تعذبهم فإنهم عبادك وإن تغفر لهم فإنك أنت العزيز الحكيم سي يعني يعني هنا ذكر العزة مع أنه أن تغفر لهم ترى أنك أنت الغفور الرحيم for example right or العزيز الحكيم so here almost the same هون وهو العزيز العزيز all the time the strong no no one can reach him سبحانه وتعالى and is the one who able to do whatever he want والرحيم is merciful سبحانه وتعالى with the believers رحيم بالمؤمنين وعد الله لا يخلف الله وعده and let me also elaborate the meaning of العزيز يعني 
الله العزيز في انتصاره وانتقامه من أعدائه الله عزيز to give victory victory it need عزة strength strength and to defeat the enemies of Allah سبحانه وتعالى وعد الله لا يخلف الله وعده this is the promise of Allah and Allah never what معنى لا يخلف الله وعده he never break his a promise سبحانه وتعالى all the time the time he سبحانه وتعالى fulfill his promise ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون but the majority of people they do not know they know nothing what is the best knowledge that the Muslim can know it's knowledge about Allah سبحانه وتعالى to know how Allah is powerful how Allah is Aziz how Allah is Rahim but most of the people they do not know Allah let us be realistic brothers what the Christians knows about Allah and between parentheses they are people of the book they should know Allah what the Jew knows about Allah very bad image if you you, you listen to the Jew if you read the Torah or the Talmud you will get the bad idea what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Al-Quran Kareem told us some of these bad idea that the Jews believe toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what they said Yadullahi maghlula they said also in Allah faqeerun wa nahnu aghniya they said Allah is stingy astaghfirullah al-azim they said um uh, Allah is poor and you are rich. You can you can imagine they talk about Allah as if they are talking about their their neighbor, their friend, their cousin. He is Allah Jalla Jalalu. That's why we get the bad image, bad idea about Allah when you read their book. What so call it holy book. And also if you read more you will see that Ya'qub, Jacob, alayhi salam. You know, Ya'qub, he was a prophet, alayhi salatu wa salam. And he fight with Allah, s.a.w. And he won. Wa ghalaba rabba. S.a.w. Can you imagine? What kind, what is this? Billah alaykum, what is this? And they call themselves, Allah has chosen us. We have the knowledge. We have the faith, we have the iman. And others, they are ummiyeen. They are like animals. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala قُلْ بِئْسَ مَا يَأْمُرُكُمْ بِهِ إِمَانُكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ هذا إيمان بائس بِئْسَ مَا يَأْمُرُكُمْ بِهِ إِمَانُكُمْ What is any, this iman, this faith? So, وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Why I mentioned the Christians and Jews? You want me to mention Buddhist? Hindus, of course they are very far from this. But the people of the book, they should know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm not talking about Hindus worshipping cows. Majus worship fire. Buddhists worship Buddha, a, a, a status, a sanam. They, they have no idea what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The majority of people, they know nothing. That's why in the following verse, This is very interesting verse. Majority, the majority of people, they do not know. They know as if, they know all what they know is the appearance of this life, the surface knowledge, surface science of this, uh, of this life. But the real knowledge, they do not know it. What is the real knowledge? The real knowledge is the knowledge of hereafter. But they are far away from it. They have nothing, no clue, as the Americans said, right? 
no clue about the hereafter. Of course, here, this verse is not talking about the people of the book, because people of the book, they believe in hereafter. I'm talking about al-mushrikeen, those who do not, they are not following a divine religion. وهم عن الآخرة هم غافلون اللهم لا تجعلنا من الغافلين أولم يتفكروا في أنفسهم ما خلق الله السماوات والأرض وما بينهما إلا بالحق وأجل مسمى وإن كثيرا من الناس بلقاء ربهم لكافرون هير الله سبحانه وتعالى أسك ذم to think about themselves. يتفكروا في أنفس about themselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create heavens and the earth and what is in between but with the truth and for the truth. And by the way, you heard what NASA discovered last week. Did you hear about it? They said they discovered there is a star, not big star, Around it, there are seven Earths, the same, almost the same size of this Earth. And uh, there is a big chance, big possibility for life, they said, right? Last Sunday in my class in North, anybody attended the, in the North Musala class last Sunday? You were there. So, Hala, we talked about it. Wamin al Ardi. مثلهن يتمزل الأمر بينهن and we were talking before we heard about the NASA in two days after two days NASA discovered or uh, and gave this news <laughs> but still I mean, this is still at the beginning no. Al-Quran, yeah, he said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created seven heavens and seven earths. Allah, and look at the universe, lot of planets, lot of <coughs> stars, yeah? galaxies, the point is not here. The point is not here. And not that only. Also at the end of Surah Al-Shura, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned a very interesting ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَثَّ فِيهِمَا مِنْ دَابَّةٍ وَهُوَ عَلَى جَمْعِهِمْ إِذَا يَشَاءُ قَدِيرٌ Among his signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the skies and this universe and the heavens of Samawat and the earth and he created Dabbah and the web in in both and what Dabba means brothers can we call uh, the uh, Dabba for the angel no Dabba as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned Allah khalafa kulla Dabba thimma First angel, that Allah did not create them from water. He created them from nur. This Dabba, some of them, they walk on their stomach, like snakes. And some of them, they are walking on two, like a human and bird also, right? وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَمْشِ عَلَىٰ أَرْبَعٍ And some of them, they walk on four. This is death. Angels are not. And Allah said, He created the word death on these universe. And the amazing is, وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ جَمْعِهِمْ إِذَا يَشَاءُ قَدِيرٌ وَإِذَا مَذَرَتْ مَا هُوَ عَرَبْ إِذَا إِذَا Huh? Zarfu Zaman Zarf. 
يعني شرط وظرف يعني هذا شرط ظرف بس بيصير بشرط وين إذا يشاء whenever Allah wants to let them come together and to meet each other or to gather them whenever he wants and if he wants listen is not is not sure that they are going this is the first any whenever the second if he wants that means maybe he doesn't want to to let them meet this is the meaning of إذا يعني هي ظرف ولكن مشروط if Allah سبحانه وتعالى وهو على جمعهم إذا يشاء قدير سبحانه وتعالى عم بحكي على الناس الموجودة إذا في ناس موجودة إذا في ناس ما هي المعلومة اللي يعطوك فيها اليوم بيكون لهم سنين عم يشتغلوا فيها أنا بيعطوك فيها كم برح كشفوهم يعني Because they studied, they spent the maybe years to discover this. Whenever they give it to you in a few seconds. Allahu alam. Allahu alam. Can you ask me? No? Can you ask me? No. 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 Allah created the heavens. And the earth with truth, and for a limited time. Limited time, ajal musamma, and defined time. And when the time, this time will will be ended. When Israfil go in the in the hole, and the man for Israfil. This is the limited. That's the due due date of this creation. وإن كثيرا من الناس بلقاء ربهم لكافرون. What is the relation? And the majority of people they deny, they reject, they are not, they don't believe that they are going to meet Allah سبحانه وتعالى. When people they will meet Allah on the day of judgment, right? But the ayah said the majority of people they deny كافرون. ما معنى كافرون? They deny, they reject, they don't believe that they are going to Meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When? إلى الأجل المسمى. See the, the, the connection? Uh, وإن كثيرا من الناس بلقاء ربهم لكافرون إلا بالحق وأجل مسمى. And that أجل مسمى يعني due date is the day of judgment. <coughs> أولم يسيروا في الأرض فينظروا كيف كان عاقبة الذين من قبل. Why they don't walk, they don't and you do some journeys, travel. Why they don't travel on the earth? Even some of us they said, let them travel in their information, in their imagination, in, in, in their mind. It's not necessary to ride a camel and go and, uh, and you go to the, the, the earth. But the appearance of the verse, no, let them travel. Zero, let them walk. On the earth, for what purpose? فَيَنْظُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِ Let them watch, let them see, let them touch the consequences of people before them who deny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and deny His messengers. What was the result? يعني, as if it is da'wah ila siyah. للعبرة. It is as if it is يعني يعني encouragement to encourage people to to do يعني السياحة ت tourist travel for what? Not for fun. It's not for fun to get the lesson. Especially those who rejected رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Especially كفار قريش. فينظر كيف كان عاقبة الذين من قبلهم. Let us talk about the level of the Arab Peninsula. What was in the Arab Peninsula that Allah سبحانه وتعالى mentioned in the Quran Kareem? عاد ثمود قوم شعيب also in the north صحيح. And also فرعون is not far from them. Egypt is not far from the Arab Peninsula. 
let them go and see and قوم صالح اللي هم من ثمود الله سبحانه وتعالى mentioned in the Quran Kareem in Surah Al-Hijr وَإِنَّكُمْ لَتُمُرُّونَ عَلَيْهِمْ مُصْبِحِينَ وَبِاللَّيْنِ أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُ Because when they go to Asham between uh, Mecca and Asham badly they have to go by the, the, the place of Thamud uh, مَدَائِنُ صالح Up to they go to مَدَائِنُ صالح and see No uh, بَيْنَ الْمَدِينَةِ وَتَبُوكِ فِي الشمال عاد بين سلطنة عمان واليمن والربع الخالي وهناك كانت المملكة تبعتهم عاد in the south of Arab Peninsula ثمود in the north and the people of Quraysh when they go to Asham for their business they bear they by default they pass they were passing by that the places of Thamud and but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them something a challenge them he said كانوا أشد منهم قوة these people they were stronger than Quraysh more rich than Quraysh their kingdom was much bigger than Quraysh وأثاروا الأرض وعمروها أكثر مما عمروها and they built the earth they had civilization they have buildings ومدنيه قويه ثمود وعاد وحتى فرعون وقومه they were stronger than them more civilization stronger civilization than than Quraysh big kingdom than Quraysh وجاءتهم رسلهم بالبينة and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to them messengers with clear proof, with signs and mujizat and miracles. What was the miracle of Samud? The camel sheep. Well, a sheep camel. And by the way, they ask this kind of miracle. They ask Salih alayhi salam. They say, they, they want the she come. They ask for it. Allah did not wrong them, but they wrong themselves. And the result of those who did bad. You know, those who committed sayyah. They did bad. They deny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the worst sayyah, the worst bad deed is al kufr billah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the consequences of this? Al su'a. Wa huna al muqabala. Al sayyah bil sayyah, sah? Wal hasana bil hasana. What is the su'a in dunya? انتقام الله عز وجل الله is anger Allah destroyed them in dunya in, his, in this life this is a surah Allah destroyed them completely and then hereafter they will have another surah also which is the punishment in hellfire and what is the reason أن كذبوا بآيات الله أن بمعنى بسبب because they deny and they reject the verses of Allah they rejected the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they used to laugh at it or do mockery mockery right of the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah we stop here we'll continue next Friday inshallah ta'ala uh, with a new uh, subject in this verse in this surah الله يبدأ الخلق ثم يعيده ثم إليه ترجعون. You have a question for me. Yes. وياكم. Seven Earth.
seven earth yeah yeah in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and allah created seven heavens and and وَمِنَ الْأَرْضِ مِسْلَهُمْ And from the earth, like them, the same. Seven. And I mentioned, I mentioned something also last Sunday, but I read it long, long time ago, maybe 30 years ago, I don't know. I don't know now any, how authentic it is or not, but I read in one of the tafsir book that Ibn Abbas, and again, don't quote it at, at, as authentic. Okay? He mentioned that there are seven earths, each one is like us, and each one has same people. And the Hasib here, and Hasib in seven, seven earths. But it could be now their time is Quraysh time, Sayyidina Muhammad time. Maybe I'm there as, as uh, me, but I'm not born yet. Or I was born to. <laughs> and, and some people, do you know what they so call it in English, deja vu? Do you know what deja vu means? Deja vu, for those who do not know deja vu, and correct me if you have different understanding. That something you have in your mind, in your feeling that is going to be a few seconds before it happened, and uh, this second is, is not enough to stop it or to run away from it. They call it déjà vu. I don't know déjà vu. It is a it is French uh, word. Then. The the people who believe in this, they said the déjà vu. It is a sign that that this few second different it happened with Hasib in the other earth. Allah <laughs> Ta'ala There is no authentic proof for this. And still, I don't like to say Ibn Abbas said, because we have to be what sure that he, he said it. But I read it. I, I told you what I read 25, 30 years ago, Allah a long time ago. No, no, no. Tanesu Arwah different. Uh, no, Tanesu Arwah has different concerns. They said here on the earth, on this earth, if somebody died, if he's bad, his soul goes to an animal. If he's good, it goes to a people, a, a person. Uh, on this earth, it's different concept. Yeah, it's a little but it's different. <laughs> See? And the, I heard this at Duru's also. I heard some, also some people, that some uh, groups and some uh, ideology they said. I don't know. Allah <laughs> Allah Allah. <laughs> of course, if, is it from Muhammad Lawani or in the seven? Of course, Rasulullah and the prophets. <laughs> if, 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 Yeah, yeah, but this is different. Listen, the ayah, the ayah in Surah uh, Ashura uh, doesn't talk about, uh, for example, uh, uh, Abdullah is here and here and here and here. It's uh, talking about different people, different the, our, our creation, different makhluqat. You understand? It's not, no, it doesn't say about you are here and here and here and here and here. The same, Abdullah here, 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 here. No, no, it's different, it's totally different perspective. Different, I mean, thing. I still, I mean, this is not I mean, clear about it. It is ishara, you know, ishara, it is a, I mean, it is a sign. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala connected to his Mashiach. He said, if I want. But it's a different concept. I heard, oh, not I heard, uh, also on Sunday, one brother, he said, one, an ex, she uh, someone, he don't, uh, expected, huh? expected, I don't know, he 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 don't know, he
ممكن هوم لاند سيكيورتي؟ اي دونت نو هي از اكس يعني نو اند هي هي يعني يعني سات ان يعني بريس ريليس ستاف لايك ذات يعني تصريح ذات ان نيفادا او سام وير ذير ار سام بيبل فروم ديفرنت بلانيت ويز هوم لاند سيكيورتي يعني ذير از كونكشن اند بيري الله تعالى اعلم He 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 mentioned it last Sunday. He mentioned that last Sunday. Huh? Is she? Actually, Area Fifty One. Area Fifty One. Area Fifty One. Black man. Yeah. From where? From different planets? Yeah. <laughs> Today we don't distinguish between the real movie and the fake movie. Kulu movie. Everything is movie. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi 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 ابن ابي حاتم ذكره ومن قال انه منكر هو ولا حدا ثاني سو وات اي ريد از ترو نفس الحديث اذا فهمت ابن ابي حاتم هي ريتد ذس اثر باي ذا اوثورتي اوف ابن عباس بت هي سيد ماني علماء حديث سيد از شو يسموه بالانجليزي يعني از ويك حديث اور منكر ضعيف لا منكر اقرب للكذب او للتأويل ها؟ انه في سبع اراضين وفي سبع محمد محسن لا لا القرآن مثل ما ذكرت له القرآن ما ذكر عن عن السبع اراضين الآية الشورى ولا ذكرت انه في عبد الله هنا عبد الله هنا عبد الله هنا عرفت كيف؟ ذكرت انه في دواب الله خلقها ممكن الله يجمعهم مش عم يتذكر عم يحكي على الاثر اللي حكيناه هذا بس الحمد لله طلع مو بس ضعيف حتى منكر يعني ففي ذلك يعني من 30 سنه ما كنا بنقدر بهالسرعه نعرف التكنولوجيا <تصفيق> الحمد لله هذا يعني ما شاء الله هذا العلم انتشار العلم يقول عليه الصلاه والسلام باي ذا واي ات از ا ساين اوف داي اوف جادجمنت ات از ا ساين اوف ذا لاست اور النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم سال انتشار العلم والعلماء فسروه بسرعه انتقاله انتشار العلم يعني ايش ايش انتشار العلم؟ سبريد ذا نوليدج اند ذا سكالر زد ان كويك ناو وي ار توكين اباوت ات هي جاست كليك ذا مستر جوجل او شيخ جوجل اند هي جيف هيم ذا انسر ذيس از ذا ساين اوف ذا لاست اور باي ذا وي اني اني انتشار العلم ان جنرال In general. Yeah. Has purpose to what? To create other people? Yeah. If it is true, of course. Allah never any does something without purpose. But if it's true, again, if if it's good, yeah. And if. شوف whenever we talk about extraordinary stuff about any people they like same thing for if you talk about jinn سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في علمنا وثبت احلامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضاه برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين صلى الله عليه وسلم محمد وعلى اله 